In this demonstration, we'll see how we can use the client status page to monitor our client health. What we've done here, we've come into our monitoring workspace, we've gone to our client status, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to browse through and we're going to specify at this point here, we're going to have a look for a different collection. So what we'll do here is we'll go for our all Windows 10 workstations and we'll select OK. Now that we've done that, what we can see here is we can see, if we scroll this down, we can see the statistics. So what we have here is we've got active clients that pass the client check, one, so we've got one active client. Total devices actually in this collection are three. We don't have any active clients that have failed any checks. In the case of inactive clients or the client not installed, we have two of them. And what we can also see within here as well is we can see that each one of these is a hyperlink. So if we hover the mouse over, as we can see, it'll take us off to a different link. So down at the bottom here, recent alerts, we currently don't have any alerts. So let's just go for our active clients that are past client check on no our results. That takes us off, as we can see here, takes us off to show us LON CL1. So LON CL1, if we have a look at the summary, we can see the name, client type, if we scroll this down a bit as well. What we can see here is we can see information related to remediation, client check, gives us information about the Active Directory site, tells us about any errors within there as well. We could have a look at the primary user if we had one associated. In the case of our client activity detail, if we scroll this down, so we can see policy request, we can see the heartbeat, the discovery record, we can see the management point, and we can get information related to the status messages as well. So days since last communication is zero, purely because I only started these virtual machines up about 30 minutes ago. And then in the case of the client check detail, what we can see here, if we pull this across a bit, we can see verify remediation. And then scroll over there, just hover over there. Windows Update Service starts up type on Windows 8, which is weird because that's Windows 10 box. But anyway, we won't worry too much about that. We can see the evaluation time. And we can also as well see the result as well. So remediation has succeeded. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration. Thank you.